Hello and welcome. We're here today at AFA's Airspace and Cyber Conference with CAE Defense and Security's Merrill Stoddard. Thanks for joining us, Merrill, for our Thank brief you, discussion today on training, simulation, and modeling. Glad to be here, Barry. Thank you for the time. You're welcome. Uh, first question is about the pacing threats, the threat scenarios, the technology challenges. How is CAE keeping up with those? You know, uh, CAE is uh, uniquely positioned. It's uh, uh, it's it's all we do. It's in our core. Training, modeling, and simulation is all we think about in this business. And because of that, we're uniquely positioned to to address our uh, defense forces training and. Uh, uh, requirements in a real-time basis. We're going to leverage our industry partners, our global scale and, and reach. We have over 3,000 engineers on a daily basis putting mm -hmm. together training and simulation solutions for our customers. So we're uniquely positioned to address uh, all of our defense customers' training needs. All right, very good, thank you. So what are the, the challenges and concerns with defense training today? You know, today uh, the, the threat is evolving uh, rapidly and the training and simulation uh, needs have to evolve just as fast. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, uh, we need to make critical investments uh, to follow our customers' lead to, to, to address those advancing threats. Mm -hmm. uh, we're investing in technologies today to bring autonomous, uh, you know, autonomous vehicles into our into our training and simulation environment. Uh, we're investing in multi-domain uh, mm -hmm. training scenarios, bringing the te technology to bear uh, to counter those threats and, and uh, you know equip our defense forces mm -hmm. uh, for the fight. Very good, thank you. Um, so looking to the future, what do you think some of the advancing requirements are going to be that you're going to have to deal with as well as the, the soldiers and Marines and everyone else being trained? You know, it's, it's really going to uh, in, in, uh, involve more software-based solutions, mm -hmm. right? More and more, uh, uh, more and more we're seeing our, our, our threat turn to uh, what's going to require software-based solutions in a multi-domain environment, mm -hmm. supporting multiple agencies, uh, multiple platforms, bringing uh, technology like AI and ML uh, into the environment to address the threat. Uh, we have to evolve at a pace faster than we are today, mm -hmm. and I think, again, CA is uniquely positioned to do so. Mm -hmm. And just to expand on that a, a little bit, so so what does CAE, Defense and Security, bring to the table to enable these things that we've been talking about? Yes, so again, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, solely focused on, on training, modeling, and simulation. Uh, we are, we've redoubled our efforts uh, to, to really listen to our customers, understand the, understand the threat model that's out there, what the training scenarios need to look like and how we need to adapt to that. So bringing that advanced training development uh, capability to, to bear mm -hmm. is what our sole focus is. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you Merrill, appreciate your time today. Thank you Barry, I appreciate it. And thank you for watching, bye.